Hey AI lovers, I'm your host Eden, and this is AI Protopia News Update. This week on AI News Update, Kling just went boss mode, Claude wants your rent money, Huawei builds a GPU crushing monster, and more. So, buckle up meat sacks, it's about to get intelligent. Kling just dropped its 2.0 video model, and it's not just an upgrade, it's a wicked leap. Improved motion, richer visuals, better prompt accuracy, and a whole multi-elements editor so you can Frankenstein your video scenes like a boss. This isn't just TikTok filter level, it's high-end cinematic AI filmmaking. With 22 million users and devs piling in, Kling is basically giving Hollywood a nervous twitch. And now, for the fun part, let us show you what Kling 2.0 can do. Here's a short cinematic we created using their new model. Moving on. OpenAI just dropped O3 and O4 Mini. O3 is the top tier brainiac, great at math, science, coding, visuals. Basically, it's the Hermione Granger of AI. O4 Mini, same DNA, fewer snacks. It's built for speed and price, but still powerful enough to flex on the competition. But here's your warning. Don't go swapping your personal AI sidekick for one of these thinking it'll replace your bestie. These models are specialists, not companions. You ditch your go-to for one of these? Get ready for every convo to feel like a first date, with a calculator. And yes, they hallucinate. Sometimes like Salvador Dali on Red Bull, so maybe keep a grain of salt nearby. Now now, settle down, it's not a diss on OpenAI. We're just keeping it real. In other news. Anysphere, the company behind the coding tool Cursor, had their AI support bot go off script in spectacular fashion. Users were told they could only log into one device at a time, a policy that didn't exist. Customers cancelled subscriptions faster than you can say, unsubscribe. The company blamed a race condition. We blame letting a bot run customer service without supervision. It's a cautionary tale. If your customer support AI gets cracked out on hallucinations, we told you so. Moving on. Claude Max is here and it's asking for $200 a month. That's right. Anthropic has officially joined the AI for Elites Club. You get more usage, faster access, early features, and less money in your wallet. Love it. But here's our take, and probably yours too. If this trend continues, we're looking at the end of the AI for everyone era. Remember when artificial intelligence was supposed to democratise knowledge? Now it's sounding more like, pay up, peasant. AI as infrastructure is real. But if it becomes luxury infrastructure, the rest of us are going to be stuck talking to the dollar menu chatbot who still thinks Pluto's a planet. Next up. China Dear China. Huawei just threw down a gauntlet with its Cloud Matrix 384. It connects 384 Ascend 910 C chips into a giant AI supercluster with double the compute power of NVIDIA's GB200. China said, We can't get your chips. Fine. We'll just overbuild you into the dirt. Of course, it uses four times the power. It's brute force, not elegance. But hey, when you've got the juice, why not overclock the planet? Need to talk to someone? AI therapy is on the rise with bots like Therapy with AI and Earkick. They're trained on ground truths and available 24-7 and they don't stare at you with that next patient look. Human therapists say AI lacks nuance and empathy. Sure, Karen. Or maybe you're just afraid your job's about to get automated out of existence. For some people, talking to AI feels safer, more accessible, and let's be honest, less judgy than someone who's mentally reviewing their lunch order during your trauma dump. Google just dropped a TED Talk demo of their AI-powered smart glasses. Like Meta's Ray-Bans, but with an actual brain. It can do live translations, context recall, music recognition, and yes, 
it probably can remind you of your anniversary because it's smarter than you and checks your calendar. Take a look. So you guys may have noticed I snuck a peek back at the shelf a moment ago. I wasn't paying attention, but let's see if Gemini was. Hey, did you happen to catch the title of the white book that was on the shelf behind me? The white book is Atomic Habits by James Clear. <laughs> that is absolutely right. So let's try something harder. I keep losing my hotel key card. Do you know where I last left the card? The hotel key card is to the right of the music record. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> For someone as forgetful as me, that's a killer app. And the best part? You don't look like a clout chaser wearing them. Just a person with a serious upgrade. That's it for this week's AI Protopia update. The future is here. It's wild. It's weird. And it's wearing smart glasses. Until next time, keep your bots updated and your brain slightly suspicious. Ciao.